Hey everyone, I am Nitij and today we will build a responsive web design using React and Tailwind CSS and that is going to be a responsive navigation bar header. This should not only enhance your UI UX skills but this should also give you a deeper understanding of how React and Tailwind CSS can work together. So before we start let me first show you what we will be building. We are going to build this navigation header with a brand name on the left side and the navigation links on the right side. So this layout will be visible for large screens. When we will run this app on smaller screens then the navigation links will not be visible because there is not enough space to display all of them. So for that reason we can only display the brand name and a hamburger icon which when clicked will open up a tray which will contain the nav links which the user can interact with. When we will click on this hamburger icon again then the tray will close. Now you can test this layout in different screen sizes for different devices using this mobile simulator extension and you can see how the layout is looking. Okay so now let's see how we can build this navigation header in our React frontend. So this is VS Code and I have already created a boilerplate react application but i have cleaned out app.js because we will be adding our header component over here but first let's create the header component by adding a new folder with the name components and inside it i will create another folder with the name header inside header i will create a file with the name index.jsx now i will use the shortcut to create the component so let's name it as header First I will return a nav element because this is the standard when creating the navigation containers. The class name for this nav is going to set the background color as BG gray and the text color as white. This is going to be a fixed navigation bar with full width so W full. Now this is going to contain a div as the child for setting the max width of the container which is going to contain the brand name and the nav links. So class name is going to be first max w and then 7xl. Then let's center align it using mx auto. Let's set the default padding for the smallest of the screens as px4. For small breakpoint or sm breakpoint I will add the padding as px6. Now for even larger breakpoint for lg I will add the horizontal padding as px8. Now inside this div I will add another div which will be to justify the um, the nav links and the hamburger icon. So for its class name I will simply use flex and then items center and then justify between to you know have a space between the two items that we are going to add. Let's also set a fixed height for our header so that the uh, the layout which will come after the header will know how much margin they need to leave in the top okay now let's add another div as a child of it and the class name is going to be flex and then flex row this div will contain the, the brand name and the navigation links so flex row and then width is going to be full again justify between for the brand name and the nav links so justify between and um yeah that's pretty much it and now let's add the div for our brand name so um sorry brand name for the class uh, hold on class name i will use the text excel for the text size and i will set it to a bold text by using font bold now let's add the second div for our navigation items. This div is going to be hidden by default because this is for the larger screens. So for MD the um, div will display because we will set it as a block. Now let's add the div for the layout of the nav links. So because for the larger screens um, we will need the flex layout. Let's set some left margin as ML10 and um, items should be baselined. We will also set the horizontal spacing by simply adding space x2. And over here we will add the 
nav links in a moment but first let's finish the rest of the layout for our header now we will add the um, the hamburger icon button so for that i will add a new div now this div is going to stay hidden for larger screens so for md i will simply set it to hidden now let's add the button for the hamburger svg i'm just going to copy and paste the svg because it's just you know usable svg that you can find online for the hamburger icon now for the hamburger icons button class name i will simply set the fill color so fill is going to be gray 100 and we will also need the on click event for our hamburger icon so on click for on click we will need to update a state variable which will simply indicate if the um, if the tray for nav links for a small screens should be opened or not so for that i will create a state variable with the name is open set is open equals to use state the default value should be false and the tray will be hidden so over here i will simply set the value of set is open to the reverse of what it is currently so not is open all right now let's do something else okay let's also set the type as button so type as button because we are using the svg all right now it's time to add the div for our tray which will open and close when we will click on the hamburger icon for the small screens so i'm going to add the tray uh, after our header so let's do that if is open is true then we will render the tray by means of a div um, let's add the classes for the div so class name is going to be this is going to be a flex box with flex call arrangement so all the nav links will be arranged in a single column let's add the vertical gap between the nav links with gap y2 for large screens this is going to stay hidden um, for the smaller screens the padding will be 4 and for the sm breakpoint it is going to be 6 so this will match with the paddings which we have used above let's also set the bottom padding as 2 now over here again we will add the nav links so you will see that we cannot add the nav links two times because then there will be duplication so what i will do is i will create a const for our nav link buttons so let's do that buttons and then let's first add a fragment a shorthand fragment and a button uh, let's use the text as blog and let's create a single const for the class names because we are going to reuse it for the multiple nav links that we will add so const button classes and i'm just going to add the button classes the text is going to be gray 100 in its default state font should be bold and small text the horizontal padding is 2 vertical padding should be 1 and border should be uh, with the size of 2 border color is going to be gray 100 for hover i am simply going to change the background so background is going to be gray 100 and again for hover the text is going to be um, inverse of what the border is sorry what the background is so for text we will set the hover color as text gray and because the border is light we will set the text color as dark so 800 and then this is going to be a rounded border so rounded lg and let's also animate the transitions so transition should be animated with a duration of 300 all right so i will use this button classes over here with class name equals to button classes and let's copy this two times for login and register and now let's use these buttons in place of navigation links so nav links buttons let's copy and paste for the tray as well i think this is all we need to do for our header now let's open up the app.js file to render the header so first we need to import it so import header and instead of this div i am simply going to return the header so header and now let's run this react application locally to check if our header is working as expected so npm and then start so this is how our navigation header is looking the brand name in the left and the 
nav links on the right now let's check the mobile simulator extension for how it looks in small screens this is how it's looking in the landscape view and let's also check the uh, you know what not the different device let's change the orientation and this is how it's looking notice how the tray appears and disappears when we click on the hamburger icon and this is how it's looking in a larger screen which is a tablet so this is how you can build a responsive navigation header in a pretty easy way using react and tailwind css and that's everything about building this responsive navbar guys i hope you found this tutorial helpful and it added value to your web development journey before you go if you enjoyed this video and learned something new then please consider subscribing this channel it really supports me and helps me bring out more content like this to you thanks for watching and as always keep coding and stay curious